What's up my YouTube friends, Johnny V out here in Biloxi, Mississippi out here near the uh, Maritime and Seafood Industry Museum of Biloxi nice little submarine there and uh, yeah just wanted to show y'all this little high water mark this is the museum, it's um I think it must be closed on Sundays or it closed early adults $10, senior citizens $8, military $8 Students 5 to 15 years old, $6, and children under 5 are free. I have several high water marks for the uh, hurricanes. The, um, the, the blue line is to Hurricane Camille, which was August 1969, which is before I was born. But I know somebody that's named Camille. They call her Cammy because her mom was pregnant. My mom was pregnant for me also during that time. But the red mark is Katrina, which was 2005. But the blue mark is Hurricane Camille in 1969, which is, I don't know, it's way over, it's way over my head. So it must be 10 feet, it's like 9 or 10 feet above the ground level here. This is Point Cadet Plaza in the city of Biloxi. This is the new bridge that was constructed after Katrina. It's, it's a beautiful bridge, actually. It has a walking path that crosses the bridge. Nice, nice for exercise. People over there with a wedding dress on taking some wedding pictures that's a little fisherman throwing a cast net so this sign says Coast Guard Station Barracks built here in 1934 part of US Coast Guard base the barracks were E-shaped okay I don't want to read the whole thing but you can read it if you want here's a Point Cadet historic marker I don't know if you can even read that. I tried. It's a beautiful day in Biloxi. It's uh, 74 degrees. I just checked on my car. My car said 74 degrees and look, there's not one cloud in the sky. Over here in the distance is the Palace Casino, Hotel and Casino. And uh, across the highway over there is behind the Maritime and Seafood Industry Museum is the Golden Nugget. Golden Nugget Casino and they got like a, uh, a harbor over there. It's a beautiful day to take some pictures. They got a good day. Got some girls over there making all kind of cackling noises like teenage girls do. I don't want to get them on video because that would be invasion of privacy, some people say. I'm not so sure of that. I'm not zooming in on them. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not weird like that. But, you know, if they happen to be in my video, it's, it's an outdoor place. I never did understand that. Sure, I'm not going to try to put kids on the thing and stuff. But, but I mean, this outdoor place, if you don't want to be videoed, you, you know... I mean, you have some right to privacy, but I don't know. But that's not what this video is about. This is a beautiful area here. If you want a picnic or something. I have the, uh, little, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause the video. I'm going to go walk over there. All right, I'm back. I'm going to do a little bit of construction here. Trying to fix the road. This, every time, the, every time a, a, even a small storm comes up, the water will come up here. This is a very vulnerable area here. This is where the, this is the, back bay turns into the gulf here uh, you know it's connect it's all connected of course but uh this is where it's this is this is the outlet to the, to the, to the left is the back bay like where boomtown and ip and all that is and you cross that back bay to get to the iberville and such that's yeah, a beautiful day wow it's not it's not windy at all and a lot of sun the UV the UV uh, index must be very high today it's a small little beach over here I mean I've never seen anybody actually in the water here it doesn't look like a bad place to actually come if you like want to want a little secluded if you want a little secluded private beach this would be a nice place to have a little private beach area I mean, of course the water's not clear or anything it's pretty brown water, but it's a nice little beach over there. You'd have the whole beach to yourself. I mean, I guess if your kids are somewhat of an age, grandparents could sit on this bench here and kind of watch them. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want a three or four year old in the water by themselves, but maybe if you had a seven or eight year old or something, that could be trusted not to go too deep pretty safe over here they got a splash pad over there too it's where the water pops up out of the ground I think it's called a splash pad a little playground area for the kids 
Yeah, I just want to do a short video because it was a beautiful day. It's the Ocean Springs Bridge, guys. Connects Biloxi to Ocean Springs. This is a fishing pier over here. That used to be the bridge. That used to be the only bridge they had, but that's been many years. It's, it doesn't go across. It doesn't go all the way across. Actually, it looks like it does, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure that bridge doesn't go all the way across. It ends at a point, right? <laughs> I think it just looks like that because of the railroad bridges behind it. The railroad bridge goes all the way across, of course. See, it turns sideways and stuff. Now, now, I'm, now I'm interested. I've been on this bridge. I know you can't go across it, but where does it end? <laughs> For some reason, it's like an optical illusion. It looks like it goes all the way across. It's just a fishing period. It's, like, it's a 20 mile an hour speed limit, and you can park your car and go fishing right there. I'll have to zoom in on this sucker now. I don't know guys, this is, it looks, I know you can't go across the bridge there. It just got me baffled at this point. Alright guys, remember to click the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, all that good stuff. And Johnny V from Mississippi, Biloxi, Mississippi, y'all have a great day, have a great weekend, have a great finish to your weekend.